In this video, I will walk you through the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6650 XT. We're going to talk about what this 6650 XT is, the physical features of the Nitro Plus RX 6650 XT and of course how it then performs in the 1080p as well as the 1440p ultralight setup in major AAA games. Welcome back and today we're going to be talking about the RX 6650 XT. Now in my last video we spoke about the RX 6750. Many thanks to our friends at AMD for bringing us two graphics cards to talk about and if you are also interested in the RX 6600 XT graphics cards, we have previously reviewed the PowerColor Hellhound as well as the SFX Kix 308 RX 6600 XT graphics cards. Do check out in my channel under the graphics cards review playlist and you can find those videos there. Eventually, in the next upcoming video, we will also do a compare of this RX 6650 XT as well as the RX 6750 XT and help you think about which one actually is more suitable according to your needs. Before we start, a special word from our sponsor of this video, me. I've finally launched my second channel, Ice Cream Games Network, which features 4K 60 frames per second horror gameplays, Come witness how we have differentiated ourselves from the other horror gameplay channels as we recreate each protagonist by adding my version of protagonist dialogues to bring out the personality of each protagonist, immersing you deeper into the gameplay by enriching the storytelling. On some very special occasions, I do voice commentary as well. So if you enjoy the horror genre, do subscribe and join me on each horror journey as we experience and uncover each story together. The links to the channel are in the description of this video. Now in May this year, we are very lucky to have AMD released a new range of RX 6000 series graphics cards designed to have faster game clocks and faster GDDR6 memory alongside with their enhanced software. Now this includes the RX 6950 XT, the 6750 XT as well as the 6650 XT, each of which targeting at a different gamer profile. The star of today is, of course, the RX 6650 XT. The RX 6600 XT was released in August last year at MSRP of $379, US whilst the RX 6650 XT was released more than six months later at an MSRP of $399, US Whilst the price difference is not significantly different, we are seeing the 6650 with a higher game clock at 2410 MHz versus 2359 MHz of the RX 6600. And the memory bandwidth is also upgraded to up to 280 GB per second versus the 256 GB per second, which in turn provide better 1080p gaming experience. Now, the difference of 20 US dollars is it worth it? Is compensated by the slightly better specifications as well as the better performance for 1080p gaming. We will touch on the performance later, but first let's take a look at the physical features of the Sapphire's Nitro Plus RX 6650 XT. Once again, very straightforward in the box, you get the usual user manuals as well as the graphics card. Like the RX 6750 XT we reviewed previously, the Sapphire does have two types of RX 6650 XT graphics cards, the Pulse as well as the Nitro Plus. Now the Pulse is a 20mm shorter two-fan graphics card, whilst the Nitro Plus has got advanced specs for better cooling capabilities in the GPU build, as well as a further added feature of a dual BIOS switch on the GPU itself. The Nitro Plus also appears to be relatively broader in width. It is a 2.5 slot GPU which measures 216mm by 170mm by 57mm thick. Once again, I had tested this graphics card in my Meshalicious Mini ITX case which has a 280mm AIO cooler behind the front panel. Even with that, it is an easy fit compared to the RX 6750 XT we reviewed in the last video and it fits well in a small form factor case. The Nitro Plus RX 6650 adopts a triple fan design. Each of the fan blades has got this angular design which is incorporated for a more optimal heat dissipation and supposed to be quieter as compared to its previous generations. Now, same as the Nitro Plus RX 6750 XT, it is wrapped in this matte black and matte silver design. It just looks friendlier and a lot more compact in a smaller build. At the top, you get a metal back plate with a large cutout on the right end with the Sapphire logo next to it and a Nitro Plus logo below. 
Now this Nitro Plus logo is where the RGB is, along with the front where the Sapphire logo also lights up as well. So if you are looking for a graphics card with RGB, this might be the one for you. Importantly, for heat dissipation, this aluminium backplate here has got thermal pad installed in between, and all around you see a lot of breathing spaces for this graphics card. To the left of it, you have the output for three display ports and one HDMI port, which is quite a standard. And this graphics card uses only a single 8-pin PCIe connector with a minimum requirement for at least a 500 watt power supply. Whilst the spec says at least 500 watts, in this space, a bit more is better than a bit less and it will weather you through heavier power consumption load for additional devices, components or if you're gaming on games that are more GPU or CPU intensive. Once again, like the RX 6750 review video we've done, I've tested this graphics card along the six major popular games across various in-game settings on a 1080p as well as a 1440p ultra-wide resolution. With the RX 6600 XT targeted at 1080p gaming, here are how the games fared over low, medium, high and ultra settings. For 1080p gaming, we are able to achieve at least 60 frames per second and more at ultra settings, which is expected of the 6650 XT. However, when we use this in the 1440p ultra wide space, these are the outcomes. In the ultra settings for 1440p ultra wide, you will be able to get approximately 40 frames per second or more, and you can expect to game at 60 frames per second in high settings for most of the games that we've tested. More often than not, I think when it comes to looking for a graphics card, given that it's not cheap, the expectation is that the graphics card that you get is able to future proof you for at least a significant period, right? It could be three years, five years, eight years. And given the fact that in the last couple of years, all the terrible experiences, having to outbid someone else to buy the graphics card or to wait extensively long for stocks to be refreshed and then still pay exorbitant prices, it is natural that as consumers, we hope to land a graphics card that can land us for another five to eight years so that we don't have to go through this cycle again. And with the Sapphire Nitro Plus RX 6650 XT, as you have seen in the performance, we could actually use it for 1440p gaming. If you are gaming on 1080p monitor right now and potentially may upgrade to a 1440p in a couple of years time. Now we will do a comparison between the RX 6650 as well as the RX 6750 in the next upcoming video and perhaps that could help you take a deeper look whether which one serves your needs better. In the meantime, let me know your thoughts in the comments below. If you have already decided to buy the RX 6650 XT over any other graphics card, whether it's the RTX 3060 or it's the RX 6600 XT, your justifications for your decision is something that would be nice to hear about. Once again, I'm also going to ask of you to take just two seconds to minimize the screen and click on the subscribe button as well as like this video if you've enjoyed what we brought to you today. And if you have also subscribed to our new horror gaming channel, I will see you there. Otherwise, I will see you again in our next video. Thanks so much. Take care.